My name is Martha Avari. Uh, I'm the uh, own manager of my business. My business is located in Munuki, South Libya. Uh, it is dealing with food items, selling of general food items. Uh, what drive me through this uh, business is after school, I was actually being inspired of working in an office, but I realized searching for job every time from one post to another, uh, you don't get job. You keep wasting transport, you spend a lot of money, you make interviews, you're not called for job. So so when I got a training on entrepreneurship, it inspired me of business. I realized staying in a job that you're paid monthly is killing of time. But once you get into business and you set your business, it's already growing, you will make more money than the person who is sitting in an office every day and waiting for the end of month's salary. specific knowledge that I applied to my business. Previously, I was running the shop without any accountability. Uh, I have little knowledge of, 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 of account and bookkeeping system about small businesses. I just see that I can run it. But when we went through the class, you know, it is good to always have a system where you account for everything. So I started introducing the girl, training her on how to maintain record keeping of everything she sells in even what she spends, she has to record it down so that at the end of the day I will know how much I spend and how much we receive in so that I know whether the business is progressing or not. And when I employ that, at least there was no like money going flowing out anyhow. We know how we spend it and for sure right now the business is just profit making. It is not like previously I will get money from my pocket to enter. Now the business is standing on its own. Whether I'm there, I'm not there, the business is running. In Suklibia we have shops around, very many shops. So the neighbor shop that I have, every time I go to the shop, I call them, I discuss with them business. I ask them more about their business and the challenges they are facing. So we started, I start teaching them on how to manage their business. Applying the skills I put into my business, I train them on on how to run their business. The one effect that is affecting many business is record keeping. That is number one thing that affects many business. Once you don't have record keeping, you will not know whether your business is progressing. So I really trained them on how to do record keeping and I gave them even the forms because we have been provided with forms. I gave them the forms. Many of them say as their testimonies. Actually, things are working out now for them. They know how the money is flowing. So they are really excited and they don't need to know more about the programs beyond what I've shared with them. So the next time you get an order of just about 25 the order sheet in the kind of details. teaching assistant at the College of Computer Science and Information Technology and the mentorship director for Go Girls ICT. So Go Girls, the name itself, it was my own personal inspiration. I used to use at campus a lot. So when things get tough, I always used to say, hi girl, you can do it. Go girl, you can manage it. So it was more or less like my own theme for encouraging myself. So that's where the name was picked. One of the greatest, 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 I think the greatest thing we are looking at in future is to have a lab. Because we realize in South Sudan we don't have infrastructure. And sometimes my students come to me, they are lacking ABCD, and we also feel bad, but we are, at the moment we also feel limited. But in the long run, really and really and really, I want to see a lab. At least from networks to mobile, where students just have free access to internet. They can, whoever wants to sleep there can even sleep in the lab doing whatever they want. But at least that is our dream and that's our goal as Google, really. Yes. My community, the people who matter to me are my students. Yeah. Because I believe if I do something to them, they will be better people. And much as the fact that they come from different communities, that one will be also like, they will also go and teach back their communities, or their communities will learn from them. So at the end of the day, if I inspire them, they will also inspire someone else. Oh, it was our 
Time to Shine ICT, that's the project, where we mainly want to pass our ICT knowledge to the secondary school students. But where can we start from? We can't start jump to secondary and primary school if we don't start with our university students. So our main goal is starting from today from this workshop. Whatever they learn, we already have mentors because uh, the criteria we use for selecting them is they were the ones who were able to mobilize students last year. So we just said, since you mobilize, we are going to start with you, but with your fellow classmates. So they will be the focal persons, but when they learn the skills, we are, we are trying to look at some interesting apps. One of them is Scratch, because we realize Scratch is really fun, and I think someone in secondary, in primary, would love to interact with such an app. Sometimes I feel like, ah, why was I even born in South Sudan? But sometimes at the same time I feel like I think I'm so lucky to be born in such a land. And I think the challenges we are going through, I think they are really to make us better people. Yeah, because out of challenges or out of problems we face, there are all these opportunities awaiting. So we believe and we believe and we hope. Hope, I believe there is still that one candle that is still lighting. So we believe one day we'll really see peace in South Sudan.